Hi, I'm Katie. If you want to watch more unboxing here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Today, we are going to unbox this one. A Rated WB Cafe Pacific A350 1000 in 10 categories. And compare it to Jay-Z Wayne's same product that we unbox in another video. You can find the details of Jay-Z's review in this link here. WB's box design is way better than that of Jay-Z's. But it doesn't mean JB is perfect. In fact, it is quite scary in a way. First, for an unknown reason, the brush ring logo is a mirrored image. It should have had it two words to write. Let's take a look at the rendering of the model. Cafe's light gray band is colored in dark gray. And the belly is even painted in light purple. And they even put a brush ring on the outboard side of the ringlet. What happened to this rendering? It's really scared me before unboxing. I can only give an 8 for packaging. For accessories, JC and WB are pretty much the same. Each comes with a magnetic gear set, gear covers, and a display stand. The only difference is that JC has a little card to introduce the specs of the real aircraft. I'll give WB an 8. WB has a very different A350-1000 mode. We can see its difference with JC's when we put them side by side. While JC has captured A350's sharp nose really well, you can see WB's too round and a little bit fat. It fails to correctly present the stronger change of angle at the base of the cockpit. When we see them from above, again, WB's nose is not sharp enough. JC has precisely made the first large unique curve at the bottom here. And WB seems to have failed in this. JC's round belly is very well made. Whereas WB's is too flat. Both models' tail sections are very similar. And the wings look pretty much the same too. I'll give WB's mode an 8. WB's A350 has a very nice build quality. Same as JC's, WB's wings and horizontal stabilizers are very well attached. There's no obvious gap at the wing attachment. I'll give the build a 9. Since the release of WB's A350 products, there has been a widely known issue with these models. They have very problematic landing gears. The gear legs are made too short, too thick, and the nose wheels are oversized. For the main gears, you can see JC's up in good shape and in a right scale. But WB's are far from correct. Almost everything is wrong. I suspect Perhaps WB's modes or wings are a little bit oversized or too thick. Because of this, they have to purposely shorten the landing gear to compensate it. So I can only give a 7. For engines, WB's outperform JC's this time. Unlike those on an A350-900, the Rolls-Royce Trend XWB97 on the A350-1000 actually have straights on both the inboard and outboard side of an engine. JC's has only one on the inboard side. And WB has correctly put two straights on the engines. So I'll give WB a 9. 
Both JC and WB have very good presentations of Cafe Luthery, but if we take a closer look and compare both, we can find that JC has a better reproduction of Cafe's brushing tail. It's more finely presented and has a more accurate position. WB's position is a bit off, so I'll give a seven. Both WB and JC have paid serious attention to details. You can see WB has even highlighted this component on the tail. And it also has inserted gems as blending lights on the nose gear leg. However, JC has a much more accurate presentation of the Rolls Royce logo. WBs are too small and too low. JC is careful enough to realize that the third cabin doors of Cafe's A350-1000 are actually emergency exits, so there's no ring gutters on top of it. WB doesn't realize that, and therefore has wrongly put a gutter on each side. I'll give WB a 9. I'll say the painting of Jay-Z's great band on the fuselage is more refined. WB's less finely painted. Both have even tried to recreate a unique feature of Cafe's Lil Brushering logo. The dark green tail fin actually has a color gradient running along the back edge of the tail, but neither wants to see it. They have their own ways to print A350's circle of pedal tubes and static ports. And JC has a much more accurate printing of the ABU doors. I think WB's is worth an 8. Even though WB's A350 models are less sophisticated than JZ's, since there are just too little alternatives out there, these WB still deserves a high score for value. I'll give an 8. I'll give this WB Cafe A350-1000 a total of 81 points in my ERIC index, which is lower than JZ's 85. Which one do you like more? Tell us in the comment section. See you next time.